Hello, Leo, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Today, Leo, I'll be doing a reading of those who have gone their separate ways. So those who have recently had a breakup, are getting divorced or separating. Let's find out what is it that you need to know. For those who are new, my name is Gigi and welcome. I will be using the Light Seers Tarot and the Easy Tarot. This is the tarot that I will be using to teach um, how to do tarot spreads in our Grand Master Tarot course. If you do wish to purchase your own deck, that's down below in the description box. If you also missed out on the early bird discount to do our course, do not worry. Just head down to fifijigitarot.com. Sorry, that was fifijigitarot.com. And there will be a coupon code there that expires at the end of the year. So there is still time. Thank you so much, Leo. Let's get started with your reading. Okay. Let's have a look. What is it that you need to know, Leo? Hope you're all doing well. Leo, behind the deck, we do have the lovers. Gemini energy, beautiful card, matching, mirroring each other. This is... I'm going to say also like a twin flame, but this is when you are allowed to be vulnerable, you're allowed to show your insecurities or imperfections. This is like not holding back here. It's an excellent card when it comes to love. Beautiful card. Now, again, for those who feel that I don't have that, hmm, hang on. <laughs> There's always happiness and love somewhere waiting for us, Leo. I'm just going to put these here. Let's have a look. I first want to have a look at three cards for the past, please. Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Wow. Okay. So, Leo, let's have a look at you first. You have the Ace of Pentacles. This is an excellent card. You've got a good head on your shoulders, Leo, because you like to think big. Absolutely. You like to plan, you like to think big like an empire, you like to plan, you you quite adventurous, I'm going to say, which is a very, very beautiful thing. And the thing is, you're the package. You're literally a solid package here, which it's unfortunate that some people take for granted. But excellent, Leo. You went into a relationship from in the past with the best intentions. You went in there with an open heart, ready to give your heart and your love to someone. And what does this person do? Well, they throw it away with the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. This person cannot even sleep at night. They've got their hands to their head. They're crying. They're embarrassed about something. They're there's something that's happened here. It's like they're doubting themselves. They're ashamed about something, perhaps ashamed of their behavior, their actions, something that they have done, and they're feeling um, the blow of this right now. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's also a bed behind this person. It's like um, almost invisible. The bed represents how they cannot sleep. It's the Even the quilt has all the zodiac signs. It's got Cancer, Capricorn. It's got everything. And, of course, the crows represent the swords. So it's a very mental card at the moment. This person is really in their head. They're ruminating perhaps about the good times with Leo. They're ruminating about their behavior, what they've done. Perhaps this person made some white lies and they were caught out and they're feeling embarrassed. And the mutual card, the mutual energy, we do have the knight of swords. There may have been some impulsive behavior, some very fast actions without thinking first. So this person here, they may have done something without thinking about it first. And what's happening now, everybody is going on their motorcycle, going their own separate ways. Everyone's just leaving. Everyone's just doing their own thing at the moment. So I feel like Leo, also for you, you were very quick just to grab your stuff and leave because of what this person has done. And it was kind of like an impulsive decision, but it was like the right decision. Let's have a look. What is it that you need to know here now? What do we have here? Let's have a look. Six of Pentacles, beautiful card. The Eight of Pentacles. 
and the page of cups. Hey, interesting. Leo, you're very talented. Let's start with this first. Six of Pentacles. This is a very, very charitable card. So this is someone, as you can see, giving you money here. And this can come through a lot of areas in the sense that you could have family members that are helping you during this difficult situation. In other words, giving you a place to live. This could be where you're currently working at the moment and there's a job, um, an increase in your salary where your boss is being very generous and giving you extra money. There's, there's just a very, very charitable um, moment here at the moment. Uh, there could be, for example, lawyers or a judge, those who are going through the the divorce proceedings at the moment. There is a judge that's been very generous and dividing assets equally, no more, no less, like 50-50, but it's, it's a very charitable card. You also have the Eight of Pentacles. You're very talented, Leo. I mentioned that before. Why? Because this is the card where someone has a skill. This person has uh, a capability that they're very, very good at, and you're getting paid really, really well for it. So I feel like at the moment with this line, you're really focusing on you, Leo. You're focusing on your skills, your career. I feel like there's something that you've always wanted to do and you're just going to go. You're going to do it. You also have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a new cycle. It's actually a new romance. Someone that's feeling their heart pumping, someone that feels an attraction towards you. It could be like small messages Yes, it's small, like through maybe social media, could be uh, something, I, I am picking up more social media, it's going to be small, but it can lead to something amazing. You are in a good place here at the moment, Leo, you're just really putting yourself first, you're really thinking about what is it that you want to do now, I I'm loving that. Let's have a look at in the near future, what can we expect, please? Excellent, the Ten of Cups. We have a tower. Hmm, interesting. And we also have the Knight of Cups. Notice it's just above the page. It's interesting. So things are definitely going to improve in the future. We have the Ten of Cups. You're going to be super calm now. You're going to be in a really good place. Even if you are still single, it, it doesn't matter. You're just going to be in a really good place. You're going to be calm. You're going to be able to just relax your feet up and just just be yourself and this is when you when you are in a position like that it's like you create harmony in every way happy home life happy pets happy family just everything is so cool now amazing emotions are balanced emotions are really well in check we do have the tower now the tower there could be something in your um, so there's a foundation here that's just not working and I feel like in the future you're going to realize how much this was not working there could be a tower moment a tower moment can literally be anything it could be someone giving you a tower moment and I can't help to notice it's just right next to the knight of cups this is a very very romantic this is beautiful um, I mean when it comes to romance, you want to see this knight. Very passionate, beautiful, flirty, bringing you roses, being a little bit old tradition perhaps. Absolutely wonderful. Now, it is the second slowest moving night, so we do need to be flexible when it comes to time. Now, I do want to get some confirmation cards, especially with the Nine of Swords and this tower. What is it we need to, what is this tower moment exactly telling us? Because it is surrounded by positive cards. Let's find out. Let me just grab the easy tarot and give these a shuffle. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Every time you subscribe, you get two readings. Per week, you'll get a reading from me and a reading from Fifi. Okay, Leo, the Ace of Pentacles, that's been confirmed with the Page of Pentacles. So this was definitely a relationship that started as messages first, really, really small messages, 
feel that it's student card. You learned quite a lot from yourself and from this person because you can be quite the observer too, Leo. You learned a lot. It was a very learning experience from everything that's happened here in the past. But you took it in as an experience, as wisdom to help you to carry yourself forward for the present and into the future. If we look at the Nine of Swords, so we do have strength. In time, this person will find the strength and the courage to move on. Not now, though. No, not with the Nine of Swords. But in time, they need to find the strength to help themselves to move forward, to get out of this this thing in their head at the moment. If we look at the Knight of Swords, mm, there's justice. Okay. So justice is when there's, there needs to be balance, definitely. But justice shows where you could be dealing with um, legalities, for example, going through a divorce proceedings, perhaps, going through the courts, doing something, signing contracts, that there's, there's something here. And of course, yes, when we definitely see justice, that there's something going on now in the court area here. Uh, if we look at the Six of Pentacles, we also have the Queen of Pentacles. I mentioned before that there could be someone, even a family member helping you. There could be a motherly figure, someone older than you, uh, that has a lot of money that's helping you through this situation to help you move forward. If we look at the Eight of Pentacles, wow, we have the Two of Cups. Beautiful. The Two of Cups, there could be love in the workplace because the Eight of Pentacles is a very career card where you're working, you're really enjoying what you are doing, you're, you're loving what you're doing. You actually love your job. You could be running a business also, for example, but um, again, you could meet a client. You could, it's endless possibilities where you can meet, but it's a beautiful card with the Two of Cups. It just shows that getting each other, it's just it's just like a spark that happens. Notice that you've got the Two of Cups and the Lovers. This is beautiful. There's going to be a brand new start for you. Very. I'm going to say it's going to happen quite soon. If we look at the Page of Cups, wow, Nine of Cups. This is a beautiful card. Minor Arcana of the Star. You can pause this video in Leo and make a wish. Make a wish with intention. Do not hope. Believe though. Believe it that you have everything that you really want, like the Two of Cups, right now in the present moment. There's going to be lots of celebrations. Also, the Nine of Cups is a very social card. Do make sure that if you do get invited to events, um, how big or small, just say yes and just have fun. Having fun, it can lead to many, many possibilities. If we look at the Ten of Cups, yeah, so we do have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords just, it's just telling us to make sure you rest, recuperate the body, the mind, just have a rest because you've been going through a very, very stressful time, especially here a little bit here, but it's been more here. So make sure you rest. Take that time off if you need to, Leo, and just rest the body. Do not forget, because you, I feel like you really do need to rest. That's why you also have the Ten of Cups, happy, uh, creating a happy home life and just being very at ease with yourself. If we look at the Tower, so we do have the Knight of Wands here, Leo. Leo. <laughs> so the Knight of Wands is represented by Leo. So Leo, I do feel perhaps you will be giving someone a tower moment. You could have, for example, an ex. This person probably trying to come back and you're going to give them a tower moment because you're going to be in a position of power. Let's have a look. What? what oh, okay. That, okay. This explains it. So we do have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords does show that someone spying on you online could be this this ex this person in the past but it does show when someone looks at your social media and they reach out to you they reach out to you and they may try to win you back or they might say some hard truths some hard truths can be it's your fault because this happened it's you fault no um, if anything, do not poke a Leo, please. <laughs> Don't poke a Leo. Um, what I'm trying to say here that I feel like it doesn't matter what messages are going to come your way, you're going to give this person a tower moment, which is a lot worse. 
It's when you, you create like a twister and then you leave. So do not worry about that. If we look at the Knight of Cups, yeah, so we do have the Four of Pentacles. There is definitely romance, absolutely, but don't be too reserved, Leo, because the Four of Pentacles, it's King Midas, the hoarder of money. You may be a bit reserved because of fear of being hurt again. No, not necessarily. Do not, please bring down your walls because this is a beautiful card. It's a very romantic card with the Knight of Cups. I think definitely you should open your heart, be a little bit more open because sometimes people can feel if you're putting up a wall. You don't need to. This is a beautiful card. I would definitely be open, have more fun. Go to any events that you get invited to. Keep your eyes open also in the workplace because there could be some work romance happening there also. Anyway, remember Leo, whatever's happened in the past, there's still love for you really good love because when every every time it's good for you to also know whenever we see the lovers and the two of, um, of cups show up in any reading it shows that there is absolutely true love that's meant for you that is coming for you leave it that's why you also have the nine of cups thank you so much leo for joining me i wish you such a beautiful day and i will see you at the next reading bye for now